Well, good evening. <laughs> Welcome to our Christmas, or Christmas Eve, our New Year's Eve service tonight. Um, be fairly short. Uh, we are going to have communion. So uh, what I thought we would do is come up and we'll take the wafer and the wine at the time, and then we'll do um, the, the communion practice, and then we'll have the dismissal after that. So first of all tonight, though, I'd like to welcome you to the, the, the New Year's Eve service. Um, there are some things we need to consider from this year, 2020. Um, and these are some of the ones that Pastor had written down and a couple that, that I had. But um, it's been a crazy year for all of us. Uh, one of the dumbest things I ever did is I bought a planner for 2020. And I, one night I was so bored that I called Jake from State Farm to talk to someone. And he asked me what I was wearing. <laughs> the world has turned upside down this year. It's so crazy that old folks are sneaking out of the house and their kids are yelling them to stay indoors. Every few days, I try on my jeans just to make sure they fit because jump pajamas have a way to make you believe everything is well. One of the things we all needed to do this year, though, is to practice social distancing from the refrigerators. That's the 2020 uh, increase in pounds there. But never in a million years could I have imagined that I'd go up to a bank teller wearing a mask and ask for money. And then officially after tonight, hindsight will be 2020. Well, with that, let us begin tonight. <clears throat> so we begin our service this evening in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If we say we have no sins, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us then confess our sins to God our Father. Confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake God forgives us all of our sins. To those who believe in Jesus Christ, he gives the power to become the children of God and bestows on them the Holy Spirit. May the Lord, who has begun this good work in us, bring it to completion in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So the reading for tonight, the gospel reading tonight, actually the epistle reading for tonight is Romans 5, 1 through 5. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through Jesus, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into his grace by which we stand and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. More than that, we rejoice in our suffering, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Desperation. 
For grace and peace be unto you this evening. I picked the theme, the story of hope, the living hope, because 2020 has been such a 
upheaval. And it, for many people, it's been a crushing of their hope. But, um, Dan, you want to get to the next slide? Peggy Jessmore, uh, who sings with us, not sings with him, but she plays the violin for us in the band, wrote the, put, put this picture on the stone, and I thought it was really appropriate for 2020 and kind of a summation of the year 2020. So it really was a year of disappointment. It was a year of just not being up to what we expected to be. Next slide. But you know, one of the interesting things about people is that we're hardwired for hope. And we're concerned about hope. We're all in a constant search for hope that delivers and lasts. And we're all a bit discouraged and paralyzed when our hopes are dashed. When one hope dies, we grab hope of another as fast as we can. Next slide. The Bible is a story of hope. It's about hope misplaced, and it's about hope found. It's about hope that cannot deliver and hope that gives you everything you need. It's about where not to look for hope, and there's only one place where true hope can be found. The great hope drama of the Bible is summarized by very few important words that are buried in the middle of Paul's letter to the Romans, which we read earlier. Paul says, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand. We rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that our suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Notice what Paul does here. He connects our hope with our justification. We have hope because by grace we have been forgiven and accepted by the one who holds everything we need. He connects our hope to the glory of God. Our hope is that God will complete his work, giving glory that is his due. His glory is for our good. He connects our hope to suffering. There is even hope in suffering because in that suffering, the God who is our hope is doing good things in us and for us. He says that our vertical hope, that is the hope in God, will never be put to shame. This means that all other forms of hope fail us in some way or another. Hope in created things never delivers what hope the creator can. He connects our hope to the Holy Spirit who lives inside us. Here is the ultimate reason that you and I have hope. God has made us the address where he lives. This means that the one who can do more than we are able to conceive of is constantly with us and constantly working on our behalf. Now that is hope. And as you worship God with other believers, hear the truths of his word proclaimed. Your hope will be rekindled. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us rise and confess the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. 
From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We will continue now with the communion. Uh, as I'd mentioned before, <clears throat> we'll come up and take the wafer and the wine, and then we will join together as we partake in it. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. You did this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, when, when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is the cup in the New Testament of my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So come, let us partake in the Lord's Supper. Christ is wounding me. Now may this body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ keep you in that one true faith until life everlasting. Let us depart in peace. We'll continue now. Uh, one of the things Pastor had suggested for tonight is we uh, join together or we'll do the Billy Graham's prayer, which he had done many years ago on New Year's. So we will pray. Our Father and our God, as we stand at the beginning of this new year, we confess our need for your presence and your guidance as we face the future. We each have our hopes and expectations for the year that is ahead of us, but you alone know what it holds for us, and only you can give us the strength and the wisdom we will need to meet its challenges. So help us to humbly put our hands into your hand, and to trust you and seek your will for our lives during this coming year. In the midst of life's uncertainties in the days ahead, assure us of the certainty of your unchanging love. 
in the midst of life's inevitable disappointments and heartaches. Help us to turn to you for the stability and comfort we need. In the midst of life temptations and the pull of our stubborn self-will, help us not to lose our way, but to have the courage to do what is right in your sight, regardless of the cost. And in the midst of our daily preoccupation and pursuits, open our eyes to the sorrows and injustice of the hurting world and help us to respond with compassion and sacrifice to those who are friendless and in need. May our constant prayer be that of the ancient psalmist. Teach me, O Lord, to follow your decrees. Then I will keep them to the end. We pray for our nation and its leaders during these difficult times and for all those who are seeking to bring peace and justice to our dangerous and troubled world. We pray especially for your protection on all those who serve in our armed forces. And we thank you for the commandment to defend our freedoms, even at the cost of our own lives. Be with their families also and assure them of your love and concern for them. Divided nation together and give us a greater vision of what you would have for it to be for us. Your word reminds us that blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. As we look back over the past year, we thank you for the goodness to us, far beyond what we have deserved. May we never presume to your goodness May we never presume on your past goodness or forget all your mercies to us, but may they instead lead us to repentance and to a new commitment to make you the foundation and center of our lives in this year. And so, our Father, we thank you for the promise and hope for this new year, and we look forward to it with expectancy and faith. This I ask in the name of our Lord and Savior, who by his death and resurrection has given us hope and for this world and for the world to come. Amen. Let us join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now receive this blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give you his peace. Amen. Well, thank you for participating tonight. I hope we have a uh, blessed evening and, and hope that this next year will be uh, better than 2020. So Jesus is active in our world. Go and find him. To God. Have a good night. <laughs> Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not, because the dreams bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Close to the ones here today. Close to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the dreams bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back you There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain When I believed in forever And everything would stay the same Now my heart feel like December Will somebody say your name? Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes. Everybody, Everybody hurts someday. Yeah. But everything will be alright. Go with your voice will say, hey. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the ones. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause the dreams bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Close to the ones here today. Close to the ones that we lost on the way. Cause the dreams bring back all the memories back. Do 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 do